Wow. Well, it's 10.57, and I just arrived on our first mowing job ever. And it's going to be a big one, and we should make a lot of money. I don't think anybody else wanted to do this job, and the guy was only paying 500 bucks to clean this place up. So I was like, hey, I'll do it. He was a real estate investor that bought this. There was like a hoarder, a chicken. Yeah, that makes sense. There's a chicken fence here. This was a chicken hoarder's house. She never took care of it. And those trees have to be like 100 years old. There's bushes all around here. And the grass is like five feet tall, maybe six. Man, look at the neighbor's property. That's all clean. Well, it's been like three weeks since I posted. So in case you guys were wondering where I was, I was over on, well, I was, this might be kind of tough to explain, but I was playing real life, uh, playing real life farming simulator. Yeah, that's probably the best way to describe it. For some of you guys have watched all the videos and stuff, but over on the other channel, uh, it's that the channel's Grant Hilbert, just my name. I'll put a link down below, but got all the planning done. Everything's planned and stuff, and some of you guys have been watching, some of you guys haven't probably. But in all reality, this is probably just going to be a series where we have tons of crazy cleanups. And maybe a mowing business. Maybe we hire a couple of employees. That's what I'm planning. For equipment, we have the F-350 Power Stroke. I thought it was supposed to be F-250. F okay, F-350 Power Stroke. Um, Two-tone, I love. Looks like a nice farm truck. Love it. Just pretty darn stock. Then we got the 18-foot trailer. Pick this up on Craigslist. 1200 bucks guy barely ever used it it's gonna work perfect then i stole my dad's x748 garden tractor with a little loader hopefully that comes in handy and then we bought a brand new skag zero turn mower i got a weed eater i just forgot to bring it and then we have a little disc and a chainsaw and with that we should be able to clean this place up in case you guys didn't believe me that it was a power stroke it is a power stroke Okay, 500 bucks. If we can get this done in five hours, that would be 100 bucks an hour. If it takes us 50 hours, that would still be 10 bucks an hour. Okay, we'll unload the garden tractor. Oh gosh. The only reason I brought, brought that disc is for counterweight, because I was figuring if we're lifting those giant trees that we need to cut down out of here, I'm gonna need counterweight on this little garden tractor here but i gotta figure out how i can get the disc out of the back of the truck and this skag is gonna have a rough time with those bushes but i think she'll work there we go oh yeah perfect okay i gotta figure out a way to get that disc out of the back of by the way if you guys enjoy these videos or enjoy i don't know i like doing just not normal lawn mowing but something kind of fun and crazy like this if you guys enjoy these or have any other crazy ideas like this Feel free to let me know in the comment section. I think this is going to be the best way to get the disc out. It's going to be a little sketchy, but I think it's going to work. I should probably just unhook the trailer. We're going to try this, though. Are we going <laughs> to... I don't know if this is going to work, guys. There we go. Yeah, I don't think that's going to work. We got to unhook the trailer, and then uh, we'll be able to lift it out. There we go. I'll unhook the trailer, and perfect. Will this work? Come on. Oh gosh, she's tipping. See, I had the skid loader to load this the first time. It's going. Oh, there we go. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, well, that worked. It's not the best way. We did put a little dent in tailgate, but we'll just pull her forward. There we go. Stay with me. Okay, that should work good. Now, if we have counterweight on this little garden tractor we should be able to lift almost anything oh yeah she's tipping oh gosh oh gosh oh man i'm just playing around to see what's our tipping point on this come on okay there we go we'll back up to her get the three point attached Okay, I'm going to mow around the edge in anywhere I can get. We're going to mow this like three times probably because this grass is going to be so long we're going to have to triple cut it. But I'm going to mow around the edge to see, to get everything clear out of the way and see what we can do. I'm not going to go into the bushes, not going to go in the trees yet, but we'll knock down this thick stuff. We're going to have to mow it like twice or three times at least. So we'll jump on the skag, see what she can do. Now this skag is meant to stripe, like these things stripe like crazy. But, I just don't know how well it's going to stripe with all this grass residue. Lower the deck. Start her up. 
It looks like there was gravel through here too, even. Like we're not even. <laughs> Holy crap! It's gotten. <laughs> Does look like they did have some type of driveway through here. Here, this is a pretty simple area to mow. We're not gonna run over anything. We should be fine here. I gotta keep her slow too. It's cutting through here. There we go. I'll do the stuff along the street here. Like it's cut. Look at that cut. It's it's pretty good along here. It's not bad. The thing is, is I'm either gonna have to take a chainsaw to the bushes or take the lawnmower. I think the chainsaw is gonna be better. We're not just gonna probably shouldn't destroy this long lawnmower. There we go. Make the turn. Okay, we got most of this done here. Now there's some bushes and stuff. For our first cut, that's pretty clean. What I really would like to do though, is start getting some of these trees cut down here. Oh, this is gonna be a mess. I should have brought a rope to tie it to the truck or something. We got two trees here that I have to down perfectly. I don't want to smash the house, of course. They need to fall right through here, essentially, if we want to do this perfect. And how am I gonna get this chicken coop? Whatever, we'll figure it out. If I can do this right, we should, well, Okay, we're just going to smash the chicken coop. There's no way to do this without smashing the chicken coop fence. And the landlord, or the the owner, the real estate investor who bought this property wanted it gone, of course. Because the chicken coop goes inside of here. And then she turned her garage into an indoor chicken coop storage. What the heck? Okay. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah, it's kind of stuck in the chicken coop, though. Okay, one is down. We got to cut this thing into little pieces here. See what we can do. I absolutely hate... Oh, watch out. I absolutely hate these trees. These ones are a mess. Okay, almost 90% of this tree is in pieces. We'll make a couple more cuts. Okay, we just need to start clearing some of this out. I got it all cut up. Now I need to pull my pickup truck around. We're going to try and fit all this stuff on the trailer here. Let's see what this little bad boy can do. Maybe we should start with a smaller log. but Okay. Now this is a tough way to grab it. We're going to try it though. Okay, that one's way too big. We need to cut it in smaller pieces. I'll try, well, let's cut into a couple smaller pieces here. We'll cut it in half. Okay, this is what we got, this bad boy. Can the little garden tractor move her? I think we're gonna have to grab her this the old fashioned way. Now I, come on, come on, come on. We need some more weight in the back. There we go. There we go. We're doing it, boys. We're doing it. <laughs> okay, now we're going to try cutting some more weight off here. Because it's close. There we go. Okay, come on. We got this now. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> we got it. I think we might have got it without cutting weight off. Oh, no, 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 no. How is this even staying on? Come on. There we go. Let's get in the trailer. No. We have a couple of smaller chunks. I'm not a big fan of this log grapple attachment. Uh, I would rather have just a regular grapple. Well, this mower works on smaller branches. These things are... Okay, some of this stuff we're just going to have to push out of the way. I'm gonna just pile it up later and we'll cut it off. I just wanna kinda of get it out of the yard for now. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh my god. There we go. Most of this is just cutting it apart with a chainsaw. Clean off the brant limbs. Okay, we should be good to go there. Now I'm wondering why can't I strap this oh. Hey, you can strap that down. There we go. <laughs> That's a weird way to stack, but okay. So I'm going to go around and knock down all the stuff by the house. We'll get this knocked out. Some of these bushes, they, yep, they're going to be rough. We'll do some weed eating here. 
Oh yeah. Get the grass that's growing on the porch. Some of the stuff around the house here. We'll knock down. This is the area where it's gonna be tough to get the lawnmower through. So I wanna knock all this stuff down. Okay, we should be good to go. <laughs> I'm just gonna hover my way on over to the lawnmower. Well, we're gonna mow this down. In case you guys are wondering, so Buck made these the, these mowers. And I think they're public. I can't say for sure. I'm, I have no idea on mod stuff. I'm really not into the mine community much, so I don't know who owns what, but I'm pretty sure Buck made these. done she's clean bushes shredded nicely the guy said to leave this stump he's gonna pull it out so it's clean besides the only thing we gotta take down is the chicken coop i gotta figure out how we're gonna do that but she is done and she's clean here well guys seriously hopefully you guys enjoyed the video uh, i plan to do some more mowing videos and get a couple more people on with me to do definitely some more mowing uh because buck is gonna be in a lot more videos uh rental man buck is officially like done with high school and so part time he's gonna be on this channel and be in a lot of videos kind of working for me in essence if you want to call it that way so buck's gonna be making a lot more videos uh along with me on this channel and then but seriously guys thanks for watching and hey i'll see you guys in the next one thanks guys